Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. And we rise now for the English national anthem. The juice is flowing, and now this. high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair, skill, and plenty of tricks, and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. Off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game. And he's a handful. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Sancho. And here's Kane. Shoots! Kane really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Gnabry has a look up from the right-hand side, seeking out options. Pickford sends that a long way. He's on his way. He's through and all alone. Chance! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Germany draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Brandt. That's really nice. Now, what next? Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Oh, good interception. Werner. 
And he's on his way! He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Oh, that's a real stopper. He's put an end to the threat. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. He's had a go! First 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but like it still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. And a decent game up tonight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Germany leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Kroos did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Going through. He is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again. Foot in. Balls out on the left, now. Gets the better of his man. Too heavy, keeper can pick that up. Zabuza <laughs> looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Sancho. Werner. He's got away. Werner. It's Werner! To the good, they have breathing space. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Kroos puts his foot on the gas, Kroos! And he's there to make a great save. Tony Kroos sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Tries a header! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Werner just got a little carried away with himself there, he knew he could have clinched it. Well, he's off on a marauding run. Big chance! It's one. They are rampant, and they are cruising away. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Germany take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Gnabry plotting from out on the right-hand side. Gets away from his opponent. Gnabry. Werner shoots! A real chance and a real let-off. England making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And the referee brings it to a close. Germany a class apart. Opponents torn apart, they are comprehensive winners. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win.
Well, we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.